Hey, what's going on, Dan? Thanks for uh, reaching out again. I really appreciate it. So let me just go ahead and get started with this video analysis. Um, I just wanted to show you what I could find in terms of your website and um, how we could improve your SEO if we were to work together on this. So um, without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that I can see right off the bat um, is I, I pulled up your website here in a tool called eRefs. eRefs allows search marketers like myself to take a look at your um, your website and see kind of what's been working for you in terms of your SEO and what hasn't been. So right off the bat, what you can see is your URTR backlinks and referring domains. So Dan, let me kind of explain that real quick. Um, your backlinks and referring domains are basically the number of websites that are pointing back to your website. So um, for example, let's say there is a blog out there called thecleaningblog.com and they go out there and they uh, make a post and in that post they say, hey, if you need uh, residential or commercial cleaning in Colorado Springs, check out imagebearerscleaning.com. And then if the person clicked on that link, it would go back to your website. So um, believe it or not, Google tracks all of these different websites that are pointing back to your website and uses that information to determine how authoritative your website is. And um, authority is a very important in Google's algorithm in determining how authoritative, uh, how, how high you should rank in Google for the keywords you want to rank for and how quickly you rank there. And so um, at this point, with two referring domains on four backlinks, uh, it's just showing Google that you're just not the popular kind of website that a lot of other websites are referring. And so because you don't have the authority that's on your website, Google is probably not going to rank you for all uh, um, keywords, including like cleaning Colorado Springs and things like that. And so this is something we would definitely help you improve and start sourcing some link links so then you can start building the authority on your website. Your organic keywords and your organic traffic is basically the estimated number of uh, visitors that are visiting your website per month uh, through Google and, and then how many different phrases you're currently ranking. So you can see how you're not um, getting traffic to your website organically and that's just because we haven't been able to get started with the SEO for your website currently, right? So uh, let me show you over to something real quick uh, to this tab. <clears throat> Dan, uh, this tab right here shows us like how many search volumes uh, a certain key phrase gets into Google and uh, some other uh, metrics behind that as well. So let me show you um, what I can see right off the bat. So can you see how uh, carpet cleaning obviously isn't your niche, but can you see how house cleaning Colorado Springs actually gets 350 searches per month? Um, this actually tends to be a little bit less than what it actually is, but you can see how there's still 350 people searching for the exact phrase house cleaning Colorado Springs. Now, I want to show you this tab right here. Do you see this five? Um, this is what AREFs use to determine how difficult it might be to actually rank for that keyword. And so it's on a scale of zero to 100, 100 being the hardest to rank for. Uh, with the keyword difficulty of five, uh, this is very possible for you to rank and you don't have a lot of competition in the area for you to be able to um, hold the number one spot for a phrase like house cleaning Colorado Springs. And I'm very confident that I'd be able to rank you at the top spot for that. And you can see, even if you capture half of these, um, imagine like how many of those you could actually turn into um, a convert into sales and just kind of build out your business from there, right? And so this is, there's a phrase for house cleaning Colorado Springs, um, air duct, Colorado Springs house cleaning. So that's another phrase, it's another 150. Cleaning services, Colorado Springs, another 100. And this is only when I type in cleaning Colorado Springs, there's a lot of other keywords that I could come up with. But um, what I would do is I would basically go in there, House Clean Colors Moves Co, it's another 30. So I would go in there and I would start capturing all these different keywords that we want to rank for and then start doing all of our SEO efforts to make sure that you start ranking for these keywords. And that's the kind of thing that we do at, um, here at Mr. and Mrs. Leeds and what we do as an SEO company in general. And what we do is we just, we kind of work backwards, right? We don't just say, hey, people probably um, are searching up the phrase residential cleaning or commercial cleaning. And turns out, I mean, you can see how house cleaning Colorado Springs um, comes up, but you, I can't see anything for residential cleaning Colorado Springs. And that's just because uh, people aren't searching that phrase, but people are searching for the phrase house cleaning Colorado Springs. And so we, we pick out some of these keywords, like I would grab like a keyword set of 10, and then um, that, are, that have a decent amount of volume and actually has searches and low low competition and so that we can start quickly ranking for you as soon as possible and for you to start ranking uh, for those keywords and for uh, organic traffic to start visiting your website, convert them into sales, and then start building out your SEO campaign from there. And so um, 
from what I can see, this is a very low competition area in terms of SEO. Um, not a lot of uh, cleaning companies here in Colorado Springs have been investing in their SEO, which means that there's a huge opportunity for you to come in and really capture the, the top spot for this. Um, this will really take you to the next level in terms of your business. And uh, we have clients where they were 100% based on referrals. And uh, now they don't have to do anything like that. 90% 90, 90 of all their new customers that come in are purely from online leads that come in. So people will submit like an online form that says, hey, I need my house cleaned. Uh, this is my address. Can you give me a quote? And then what you would do is you would get an email with that information and then you can call them and say, hey, we noticed you submitted a, um, a quote. Um, I know that you have this, this, and this, and this is what we can do for you. And, and right, and start capturing those leads and start converting them. And so uh, very confident about what we can do. Now, I know uh, last time I talked to you, Dan, we mentioned about like how we could um, talk about like repeat business and making sure that we keep up with all the leads that potentially reach out to you, but you don't actually close and holding on to that information and then just kind of keeping them in the funnel and making sure that you keep up update with them and seeing if they are still interested down the line. And maybe you could like provide some specials where like they can just to try you out, see what they think, and, and that way you can get that repeat uh, business. Right, so uh, a lot of uh, a lot of room for us to definitely grow your business. Uh, we can definitely just take this to the next level. Um, in terms of your website, there was definitely things that I will clean up for you. Um, uh, in terms of SEO, uh, there's a decent amount of content. It's just that there's just not a lot of uh, content specifically targeting the keywords we want to uh, target. So you have new construction, remodeling, moving out, moving in, which this one's actually good. Uh, Pre-party cleaning, interesting. Seasonal holiday cleaning. I would have to take a look at these keywords, right? So that's the kind of thing. Like I know these are kinds of the, like the general things that people understand uh, behind cleaning. But how do we know for sure that people are literally typing in "moving out" or "moving in" cleaning Colorado Springs, right? So that's the kind of things that I would do just to make sure that we are optimizing 100%, um, doing our SEO efforts around the keywords that um, are going to actually bring you business, right? So um, I'll wrap it up here, Dan, because I know you're a busy guy. I don't want to um, take too much of your time. But hopefully this gave you some insight about what we do as well as how we could help you and the potential of what is possible out there if we were to work together in this. Um, but I'm very confident in this. Um, like I said, we are interested in the BNI. It's just um, my, my, my boss is having a hard wrapping his mind around uh, spending the time and the money to be visiting this BNI when we could be doing spending that money and that time and energy and effort and things like that into other campaigns. So I just want to show him my boss that this is uh, a joining this BNI is a worthy venture and so I think the best way to do that is if we were to actually just pick up a client right and if we were to pick up your client I'm 100% guaranteeing that we would sign up as a BNI um, uh, member and I'm sure we'd be able to help and assist a lot so I mean I can literally make these video analysis all day so I can literally do one for every single one of your uh, BNI members so they can at the very least even if they don't sign up with us um, they have this information they understand what might be possible Right. So again, appreciate it, Dan. I uh, look forward to talking to you soon and hope you have a great rest of your day and weekend and take care. Thank you.